Robomate Plus, India's largest curriculum based study app. Download the app now. I think you all remember making this paper plane as a kid because we made this paper plane with a lot of hope and we actually thought that when we would throw this it would go soaring into the space and when we threw this paper plane for a microsecond we actually thought it would go into space but finally the plane came down and when it came down we cursed gravity and we actually hoped it would not exist but then as we grew up we realized Gravity was not that bad after all. Even simple, simple things like drinking water would be so difficult without gravity. I know the intelligent minds must be thinking, of course you can drink water with a straw, but that would make it so difficult and there would be one thirsty human race. But what if I wanted to take this object and send this object into space beyond the Earth's gravitational influence. What kind of a velocity would be required to send this object beyond the Earth's gravitational influence? That kind of a velocity is called escape velocity. So I have this magical bat here and I'm going to set this magical bat to Tony's highest sixer ever and that was in New Zealand 120 meters high. Now here comes the ball and I hit it and it goes 120 meter high. But then finally, it has to come down because of the Earth's gravitational influence. I think you all must have heard about Concorde plane, one of the fastest moving objects. It traveled with a speed of 2200 kilometers per hour, which is around 600 meters per second, faster than sound. And now the ball comes and I hit the ball with the speed of Concorde plane. And you can see the ball is going very fast and it breaks the speed barrier and there is the sonic boom. But still the influence of gravity acts and finally again the ball comes down. Let's take this to the next level. I'm going to put on the setting of the kind of velocity which is required while launching of rockets. The ball comes and I hit and you can see the ball is going and finally it goes and it begins to now orbit. Now when it is orbiting also, remember that even when an object is orbiting, it is still under the influence of Earth's gravitational force. Now why is this object moving around my hand? Of course, because of the force exerted by my hand on this object. Similarly, if you are seeing that object orbiting around the Earth, it is because of the gravitational influence of the Earth acting on that object. Now I want to send an object out of the influence of Earth's gravitational force. So let us see how that is possible. Now I'm going to set this particular bat with a speed of photon which travels with the speed of light. Now the ball comes and the ball is traveling with the speed of light and you can see the ball continues to travel crossing infinity. Now I don't want this to happen. What I wanted to happen was the ball should go and stop at infinity. So I'm going to take this bat to the infinity setting to send this ball to infinity. And here the ball comes and I hit the ball and you can see the ball is going and it continues and continues and finally the ball goes and stops at infinity. So that means it has escaped the Earth's gravitational influence. Now the velocity with which I hit the ball is called as the escape velocity. Physics is about precise calculations and for precise calculations what you require is a suitable formula and that's what we're going to find. Initially the ball was in position A. Now from position A, we send the ball to infinity and that is position B. So let us find what are the energies at position A and position B. At A, what will be the kinetic energy? Of course, half mv square. So this is the kinetic energy at position A. Now the ball went and stopped at infinity. As the ball went and stopped at infinity, 
the kinetic energy at B will be half mv square, but it will be equal to zero because the ball stopped there. So this is the kinetic energy at position B. Now let's find the potential energy. Potential energy depends on the distance from the center of earth. So position A is at a distance R. So potential energy here will be minus GMM divided by capital R. Minus because G is acting in a opposite direction. So here the potential energy is minus GMM divided by R. Now the ball went to infinity. So position B is at an infinite distance. So what will be the potential energy at position B? It will be minus GMM divided by infinity. What do we get when you divide a number by infinity? Zero. Any number divided infinite times gives you zero. So potential energy here is minus GMM divided by infinity, which is again zero. So we have all the energies at A and all the energies at B. Now let us find the total energy at A and total energy at B. That's very simple. The total energy at A will be the sum of kinetic and potential energy, which is equal to half mv square minus gmm divided by r. Now, what is the total energy at B? Very simple, because kinetic energy is zero, the potential energy is zero, so therefore E2, the total energy will be equal to zero. But there's a law of conservation of energy, which says energy cannot be created. It cannot be destroyed. So the total energy at A has to be equal to the total energy at B, right? So therefore we'll equate this E1 is equal to E2. And as E1 is equal to E2, therefore half mv square minus gmm divided by r is equal to zero. Now from this what I get is half mv square is equal to gmm divided by r. Now look at this equation. What do you see common on both the sides? Of course, small m. So I can cancel small m. When I cancel small m, what I get is v square is equal to 2gm divided by r. And from this, I get the equation for escape velocity. So escape velocity is equal to root of 2gm divided by r. Now students, we know that small g is equal to gm divided by r square. So therefore from this I'll get escape velocity is equal to root of 2gm into r divided by r so that becomes r square and it becomes r square gm divided by r square is small g so we get the equation for escape velocity which is equal to root of 2gr so here we have it root of 2gr which is the equation for escape velocity. Thank you for watching this video lecture. To watch more such interesting videos, attempt tests and to get instant analysis, download the RoboBait Plus app now.